Hello students, welcome back to the math class. In our last class, we have discussed some concepts about surface areas and volumes. We have discussed some examples and we have solved some questions from your book. In today's class, we will discuss some more concepts about surface areas and volumes. So, let us start. Students, let us now discuss question number 2. Exercise 13.8 it says find the amount of water displaced by a solid spherical ball of diameter 28 centimeter and 0.21 meter so let us find the solution for the question okay so for bit 1 diameter is 28 meter that means radius will be 28 by 2 that is 14 meter okay so the volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube that is 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 14 cube. So, students this comes to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 into 14. So, 7 2 zero. So, 4 into 22 into 2 into 196 divided by 3. Okay. So, when we calculate it will give us a value that will be equal to 1149.87 centimeter cube. Okay. So, this is the volume. Hence, 1149.67 centimeter cube or we can say 1149.67 centimeter cube of water gets displaced by the spherical ball. Okay. Let us now go for the solution of bit 2. Students, in this case, the diameter is given as 0 0.21 meter. So, D is equal to 0 0.21 meter. That implies R is equal to 0 0.21 by 2. That will be equal to 0 0.105 meter. So, radius is 0 0.105 meter. Let us find out the volume. So, volume will be 4 by 3 pi r cube that is 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 0 0.105 cube that is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 105 by 1000 105 by 1000 into 105 by 1000. So, when we calculate we will get a value that will be equal to 0 0.004851 meter cube. So, this is the volume of the sphere hence this amount of water gets displaced by the spherical ball. Okay? Hope you understand. Students, let us now discuss question number 4. Okay? It says the diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth. What fraction of the volume of the earth is the volume of the moon? Okay, let us discuss the solution. Okay, so students, let the diameter of earth that is of earth is equal to x. So, radius is equal to x by 2. Fine. So, diameter of moon. is equal to x by 4 okay and radius is equal to x by 4 into 1 by 2 that is x by 8 okay so let us find the volume volume of earth volume of earth is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is 4 by 3 pi x by 2 cube that is 4 by 3 pi x cube by 8 or that is equal to 4 pi x cube divided by 24. Okay. Now, volume of moon is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is 4 by 3 into pi into x by 8 cube 
volume of moon is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is 4 by 3 pi x by 8 cube that is equal to 4 by 3 pi x cube divided by 5 1 2 or 4 pi x cube divided by 1 5 3 6. So, let us find the ratio. Okay. So, the ratio will be is equal to what is the ratio? It is so ratio of the volume of moon to the volume of earth will be 4 pi x cube divided by 1536 whole divided by 4 5 x cube divided by 24 4 pi x cube divided by 1536 into 24 divided by 4 pi x cube. So, 1 by 64 that means the volume of the moon is 1 by 64 of the volume of the earth. Hope you understand the solution for this question. Students let us now solve question number 5. It says how many liters of milk can a hemispherical bowl of diameter 10.5 centimeter hold. Okay. Let us solve the question. Students as per the question diameter is given as 10.5 centimeter that means radius is equal to 10.5 by 2 that is 5.25 centimeter. Fine. Now volume because it is a hemisphere that is why it is 2 by 3 pi r cube that is 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5.25 into 5.25 into 5.25. Fine. So, when we calculate it will give us a value equal to 303.1875 centimeter cube. Okay. Now, we know that 1000 centimeter cube is equal to 1 liter. So, now let us convert this value into liter. So, that is equal to 303.1875 into 1 by 1000 liter. Okay. So, this is 0 0.303 liter. So, the hemispherical bowl can hold 0 0.303 liters of milk. Hope you understand. Students, let us now solve question number 6. It says a hemispherical tank is made up of an iron sheet 1 centimeter thick. If the inner radius is 1 meter, then find the volume of the iron used to make the tank. Let us discuss the solution. What is given? Thickness of the iron sheet. So, thickness is 1 centimeter. Okay? That means it is equal to 0 0.01 meter. Fine. Inner radius is 1 meter. So, let it be smaller. 1 meter. Fine. So, what should be the outer radius? Let the outer radius be capital R that is 1 plus 0 0.01 or 1.01 meter because this is the thickness we need to add it with the radius that is inner radius to find the outer radius to be 1.01 meter. Okay. So, let us find the volume. Volume of the iron used should be volume of the outer hemisphere minus volume of the inner hemisphere. So, volume of iron used is equal to volume of outer hemisphere minus volume of inner hemisphere that is equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube. So, 2 by 3 pi what is r is 1.01 .01 cube minus 1 cube. Okay. So, 
when we calculate further we will get it as 2 by 3 pi 1.01 cube that is equal to 1.030301 minus 1 cube is 1. So, it is 2 by 3 pi multiplied by 0 0.030301 ok. So, when we calculate it comes up to a value that is equal to 0 0.06348 centimeter cube ok. This is the volume of iron that is used to make the tank. Hope you understand the solution for this question. Students, let us now discuss question number 7. It says, find the volume of a sphere whose surface area is 154 centimeter square. Okay? Let us discuss the solution. So, let the radius be r. Okay? Surface area of the sphere is, is equal to 4 pi r square. Fine. So, 4 pi r square is equal to 154 centimeter square as it is given in your question. Okay. So, that implies 4 into 22 by 7 into r square is equal to 154 centimeter square. That implies r square is equal to 154 into 7 divided by 4 into 22. Okay. So, when we calculate r square, so r square is equal to 49 by 4. That means r is equal to square root of 49 by 4 that is 7 by 2 or 3.5 centimeter. Okay. So, radius of the sphere is now found to be 3.5 centimeter. Now, let us find the volume of the sphere. Students, we know that volume is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube that is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 cube that is equal to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 3, 35 by 10 into 35 by 10 into 35 by 10. Okay. So, when we calculate, we get a value that will be equal to 179.67 centimeter cube. Fine. Hence, the volume of the sphere is 179.67 centimeter cube. Hope you understand the solution. Students, we have discussed some of the question of exercise 13.8. We have discussed all the concepts and hope you can solve the remaining questions by yourself. You can also try the exercise 13.9 and I am confident enough that you can now solve the questions from that exercise, which is an optional exercise for you, but I suggest that you should solve that exercise as well. Okay. So, students let us now discuss the summary of the chapter surface areas and volumes. In this chapter we have discussed the points as follows. Surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 whole multiplied by Lb plus Bh plus Hl. Surface area of a cube is 6a square. Curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h. Total surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r whole multiplied by r plus h. Curved surface area of a cone is pi r l. Total surface area of a right circular cone is pi r l plus pi r square that comes to pi r whole multiplied by l plus r. Surface area of a sphere of radius r is equal to 4 pi r square. Curve surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square. Total surface area of a hemisphere is equal to 3 pi r square. Volume of a cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height. Volume of a cube is equal to a cube. Volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h. Volume of a cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए स्पियर ऑफ रेडियस आर इज इक्वल टू फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ अ हेमी स्पियर ऑफ रेडियस आर इज इक्वल टू टू बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब सो स्टूडेंट्स विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ टूडेज क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस मेनी कॉन्सेप्ट अबाउट सर्फेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम्स वी हैव गॉन थ्रू द एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव डिस्कस द एग्जाम्पल्स एंड वी हैव सॉल्व questions from your exercise hope you understand all the concepts and the solution for the given questions but you need to remember that you have to practice all the concepts examples and the questions by yourself to have a good grasp on the chapter so keep practicing and keep smiling thank you